Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, things more AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the increase in buy pressure, how firms are trying to get people to sell, and how AA can force shorts to cover. As always, going to be taking a look at the chart first for AMC and Ape. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. So looking at AMC today, we are doing extremely well. We are up 4.18%. Now, this is what we're talking about in the Sunday Outlook video. So guys, make sure you go watch that video. Essentially, we closed yesterday within the zone of 453 and 462. And exactly today, we are seeing the buyers really come in. Now, what we want to see right now is even if we are able to see AMC close at the candle it is now, it will be an extremely, extremely bullish close. And the fact is because of this is because firstly, we close above the 462 zone. Now, that's already a very good thing. And when we see a candle like this with no wick upwards, it means that sellers were not able to take control at any point of the day. Obviously, we if we count for the wick downwards, but right now, as we see buyers are coming in, we see that sellers cannot take control now that the buyers are here. So that would be an extremely, extremely good close for AMC. Even as we speak right now, we see AMC price obviously shoots up, and we're closing above that high was made on the Wednesday of last week. So again, if we are able to get a close close like this it would be extremely extremely bullish and this is something that we covered in the sunday outlook video now if we are able to get close like this today then what we're going to be looking at for the week is of course that test towards this zone coming in at 505 and 518 now bear in mind like i said we want a close like this without any wick upwards if we do see sellers come in any point of the day but we still close above this 462 zone what we could be seeing is a pullback to this 462 453 at, from maybe a wednesday to thursday but after that of course then the price bouncing off of that zone is that if we do see sellers at any point of the day because we still have three hours left off of course the trading day is that we may be potentially seeing sellers and that's obviously the second case scenario if we do see sellers so if we do see this wick coming but we're getting a bit bigger maybe a wick like this a wick like that then yes it would mean that potentially we could be seeing this pullback towards the zone now overall very very good for amc if we take a look at ape on the other hand so ape is obviously not experiencing the same thing we're seeing as amc we are down 2.48 percent for ape and something we can see right now is we are continuing seeing this, of course, pressure coming in after rejecting this 148 and 154. Now, like I said, the technical analysis for Ape in the short term is not um, is important, but if we take a look when the conversion is coming, then of course it is not important. Now, like I said, if we do see Ape drop, it will have to drop below this low that was made previously around kind of the 120, 137 level, uh, or rather the 127 level, and then it'll be filling the gaps downward. So that's what obviously the price we have to see it really react. But other than that, if we're taking a look at it right now, it's still not very volatile. But again, I'll be talking more about Ape later on with some actual fundamental factors as well. Now, taking a look at some of the news today, which explaining, explaining why there's buy pressure coming in from AMC is obviously... If we take a look at, of course, the FTDs. Now, we've already said in the Sunday Outlook video, this week, it should be a hefty amount of FTDs being covered. Now, we never know if FTDs are going to be covered because we know firms obviously have loopholes around it. But what we can see here with the T plus 35 days, obviously, we have the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st. And so potentially the volume we are seeing in right now with amc is of course the ftds being covered now this isn't the whole ftd being covered this is in the synthetic shares being covered this is just the ftds that was of course hitting the t plus 35 day and again you know if we do if that is the reason you obviously would explain what we're seeing right here in terms of the price action today but like i said also we are in pivotal zones and buyers are in amc and buyers do want to take amc up we are seeing the increase in difficulties again for of course locating shares as we see the cost of borrow increase and many many factors as well now the next thing and this is what we're talking about in terms with ape since that day that 87 percent of amc shareholders got the vote yes they wanted ape has gone straight down so they want you to believe that 87 percent of shareholders got what they wanted then spent a month selling ape at depressed prices no way tiktok hedgy so again i think this is very very clear and i think 
everyone can understand that if everyone got what they wanted if everyone who voted for ape and amc got they want what they wanted why would they start selling so this is obviously a very very easy example of understanding how firms want you to sell your amc shares how they want to sell your ape shares because they're trying to create this panic we understand that the majority of the people and like he says here the 89 percent or 87 percent even of amc shareholders got the vote yes so it would make sense if potentially the people who voted no so obviously in this case the 13 percent of people who voted no sold their shares but this drop does not look like 13 percent of people sold their shares and so again when we take a look at this it really doesn't make sense and it just a clear way that it looks like firms are trying to of course get people to sell we've also since then we've seen city group obviously give a 1.25 price target on amc and so so many different ways we're seeing these people of course trying to get investors like me and you to of course sell our amc and ape shares and so potentially that is what we're seeing with ape right now now in terms of talking about how aa can force shorts to cover what we see here is below the clip from chat gvpt if true it seems that we could have a short free stock after conversion nrs essentially what we talked about is he's described a scenario of what will happen with the conversion and reverse split and so it would be important for the corporate action from finro to include clear instructions and guideline for the treatment of short positions in the preferred share that is undergoing a one-to-one -one exchange for a private security essentially here what we can see is that the instruction could include language that explicitly states that no short positions will be transferred to the private security and that any short positions in the preferred share must be closed out or settled prior to the exchange the instructions could also specify a deadline or time frame by which all short positions must be closed out or settled they're obviously talking about the conversion nrs and again when we understand this it does make sense why we're now seeing the shares of course going down if this is true and if adam aaron do specify it and says that they have to close out the short positions in ape that they have to settle the short positions in ape it will obviously be in the hedge funds and the firm's benefit to cover these shares at the lowest lowest price possible so if they are able to get ape to 138 right now or back to where it was at the very very low of 0 0.65 and even lower than that then obviously they are able to clear a large number of shorts with a low uh, amount of money and so it is in their favor to of course see the price go down and that's potentially what we are seeing right now in terms of the price movement of ape because we know that they have aa has the potential has the power has the ability to obviously there is more legal factors involved so, and i'm not a lawyer so i'm not talking about that but from what we see right now he obviously has that potential to do it now like i said there is always other legal factors that we have to be considering i am not qualified to say so so always make sure you do your own due diligence and that's something we obviously have to look out for as well but this is something that i think is very very worth noting now you know this is something that said from crystal ball talks about sorry guys we just had the market cap wrong by hundreds of billions won't happen again it was a glitch nothing to see here just happens to happen with the overshorted stock with massive ftds and constant bashing funds emitting naked shorting on amc so you know this is obviously a ridiculous amount we've seen amc we've seen a ape having over billions of market cap we've seen amc uh and ape having over trillions of outstanding shares at one point now all of this is obviously crazy and yet it's always happening on a stock that right now has the attention of the retail investors and also of course on cnbc on any other media outlet as well and so this is something that definitely needs to be addressed and definitely needs to be of course talked about and so i think that they are trying to create false hope or maybe bad news on amc to again another reason to try and get people to sell now i think the bullish news i want to talk about in this video is in terms of the a small fundamental side from amc so amc movie this is from anime i'm talking about amc movie goes continues to eat and drink well two weeks ago we set an all-time record with the highest weekly food and brev beverage revenues per patron so this is amc's 103 year history on march 24th 25 26 we set a new record again now so this is the first part obviously setting the highest weekly food and beverage revenue 
The next thing we're looking at is Walmart, who talks about this popcorn is popular right now. Stay tuned for the restock. Now, we know AMC Popcorn recently, of course, went for sale in Walmart and other retail stores. And now we've seen them go out of stock. So it's very high potential that Walmart is talking about their AMC Popcorn. I'm not sure if they confirm it anywhere else. If they have, comment down below. But again, we're seeing investors or rather supporters willing to be buying AMC Popcorn. Another good fundamental news, which I think is very, very bullish for AMC. Anyway, guys, like I said, thank you for watching the video. If we see AMC right now, if we get close like this, it does mean sellers, of course, are able to still get through. But again, it's very, very, very normal. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.